back lovers welcome back to my channel welcome to a new video if you're new here my name is Kayla and today I have a one-year handbag review on this beautiful handbag and this is the YSL Kate in the size medium so is this handbag worth buying in 2023 let's get into it okay so I bought this handbag back in November 2021 and a little bit of story time I bought this handbag with money that I earned shooting some commercials with the company I work with in my company we offer health insurance to people who is retired or in disability here in the state so I am a licensed health insurance agent and uh, they wanted to shoot some commercials with a real agent to be more authentic so they asked me if I wanted to participate and I was like yes I really like the idea and at the beginning they didn't offer me any money or anything like that of course they were going to pay me for the day I was going to shoot and also the sales I was going to miss for those days that I was going to shoot so I didn't mind that honestly I just wanted the experience at the end they told me that they were going to pay me and also they gave me a thousand dollars for a trip so it was amazing so it was funny because I didn't tell anybody about the commercials and I have another channel and it's in Spanish so I have you know a little bit followers there and it was funny because people would be in me my Instagram or my family or friends they will text me and they were like oh my god is this you are you in TV and they were like surprised and that was like really really nice so I bought this handbag to remind me that I was in national TV <laughs> Not that I was, you know, in my dreams, but you know, it just happened. Okay, so this is the beautiful handbag. As you can see, it's been a year and it looks amazing. It's because this leather is really, really um, hard wearing because it's grain. So it's pretty much scratch resistant. I was really, really looking into this handbag today because, you know, I wanted to check the wear and tear but it's barely any wear and tear. Honestly, it just has a little bit of scratches here. I don't know if you're going to able to see, but it's like in the glazing, but it's nothing major, honestly. The YSL logo, um, it, it can get scratched because of the um, this chain, but it's nothing major again. It has a little bit of scratches, but it's nothing noticeable, so I don't mind that. So at the beginning, I didn't know if I wanted to get this handbag with gold hardware or silver hardware. It was a really hard decision for me to make, but I already had the uh, YSL wallet on chain with silver hardware. That's why I got the gold hardware. And I think I regret a little bit getting uh, this with the gold hardware because with the silver hardware, I think you can wear the handbag more casual, even though you can wear this one, of course, casual too. But for me personally, I wear this handbag more for like a special occasions, dinners, things like that. I don't wear, I don't wear this handbag for like everyday errands or things like that. <laughs> I don't know because it looks elegant, but of course you can, you know, wear this handbag casual because it's black of course but it has this beautiful gold chain that it doesn't like I said I was inspecting this bag uh, today because I wanted to make um, the review and it doesn't have any wear and tear in this chain also and we have one big compartment in this handbag and we have another one here and this one is really um, like tight and we have the Saint Laurent uh, Paris logo here and also we have another one like in here this one and this one said Saint Laurent Paris made in Italy so this handbag was made in Italy I know that until now that I'm reading this so one thing that I have in this um, compartment it's band-aids I always bring band-aids with me because I always need them and also I have wipes for this handbag always when I wear this handbag I like to bring wipes with me because one thing that I hate about this handbag is that I don't know if you're going to be able to see I didn't clean the handbag for you to see but this handbag I mean it's black but it gets you know makeup all over the handbag I think you can see uh, something here and I really hate when that happens in the front of the handbag 
So that's why I, I always bring wipes with me because of that. And of course, I always am wearing, you know, foundation or makeup. So I am really careful with that. Honestly, I wear a lot of white handbags and never happened with me with white handbags. Thank God I never, you know, got makeup on my white handbags. But for some reason, this one caches. Oh, but thank God it's really easy. To wipe it down and this chain is not removable and also it's not adjustable i think you can adjust the chain if you want to make the chain a little bit you know short like you can do some knots here and wear it more um short but one thing that i don't like is that that is not removable or adjustable but for me honestly it's the perfect length i'm going to show you some mod shots here i really love wearing this handbag long shoulder that is one of my favorite ways to wear it i think it's like really elegant really chic to wear it that way and not so i think my favorite favorite ways to wear it is like short shoulder and we can wear this handbag short shoulder doing this i'm going to take out the strap like that and now we have a short shoulder handbag i love wearing this handbag like that i'm going to show you the much of here um i don't know for me it's more comfortable to wear it this way because it doesn't fall even though you know long shoulder again doesn't follow me too and but i don't know i feel like if you stuff the bag it doesn't feel heavy this way and it's really really nice to wear it that way and also i love to wear my handbags you know on the crook of my arm for some reason i love it and this way i can do that with this handbag and isn't again one of my favorite way to wear it i don't wear this handbag crossbody honestly but it's the perfect again length for me to wear crossbody because it's not that long and I'm 5'2. So if you are a person that's taller than me, this one will hit like a little bit high on you crossbody. But for me, it's perfect for crossbody, even though I don't wear this handbag crossbody because it's like I said, more elegant. Now I'm going to show you what fits in this baby. Okay, so this is the handbag that I was using today. This fits all my essentials, so I'm going to show you what of these um, essentials fits in the Kate Medium. So I'm going to start with the important things. First, I have my Leviton key plate. This is my mini wallet. I have my cards, ID, money, and things like that here. So this fits perfect. I have my Chanel compact powder that I always like to bring with me and as you can tell we have more room here i have this pouch this is from fendi um honestly i will see if it fits uh, it fits you know i know i know already that it fits but when i have uh when i use this handbag you know i i don't bring this pouch with me because it takes a little bit more of room also i have my um you know lip gloss or lipstick i will put it here also my hand cream also i like to bring with me tylenols and let's see my airpods i have this big case right now because honestly i like to bring my airpods like hook like in the chain of the back or something like that uh, because this case is really big but i will put it here to see if it fits and if it's perfect now and i have my car keys i'm going to put it there so everything fits there so i'm going to close it and yeah it will close perfect as you can see and it's not bulging or anything like that a little bit here so that's why i'm telling you with this handbag i don't bring this big fendi pouch so i will take this out and honestly here i just have some um bronzer wipes band-aids that honestly i don't need that much but i also like to bring bring this with me just in case but like i said with this handbag i i don't put it because it takes a lot of room but another thing that is important for me is my phone of course and as you can see i have the iphone 
14 Pro Max, the biggest one with a case, and if it's perfect. And another thing that, has in, that is important for me is my sunglasses. So without the pouch, my essentials fits perfect in here. Everything that I want to bring with me. And it closes really nice, and it has a really strong magnet. It's a little bit heavy, honestly, but you know, it's my essentials, but I don't mind that. And like I said, that's why I like to wear this handbag, um, you know, short shoulder, because for me, when I bring all of this stuff, it's more comfortable for me to wear it like that. And like that, it doesn't feel, you know, that uncomfortable or that heavy. So now this handbag is 2,400, something like that. I will put the price in the screen. When I bought this handbag, it was 1,900, you know, before taxes. So it went up about $500 and honestly I think this one is worth it because it's an amazing handbag that you can wear casual you can wear most you know like dressy and it's amazing fits your essentials and also it's really hard wearing this leather is amazing honestly and that's why I love YSL because the handbags are really chic, are really classy, are really elegant. And this is a handbag, honestly, that I love so much. I bought this handbag in beige, but I wasn't reaching for that handbag. So I have to part ways with that handbag and I just stick with this one. And honestly, I really, really want to get this handbag sometime in the white one. It's is so beautiful but I want other handbags before I got that one so yes this is the video for today I hope you like it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up that will help a lot to my channel and also subscribe if you like this kind of content and see you until my next video bye